to Catherine's Plate. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below with the bell notification so that you know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all, today is Vlogmas Day number 13 of 25. We are over the halfway mark. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Alright y'all, on the 25th day of the Vlogmas series, I am going to be doing a Q&A with shout outs, alright? So, I need questions from you guys, and what you need to do is on my next three shows, Vlogmas 13, 14, and 15, put your questions down in the comments, and I will take those questions and answer them on the 25th day of the Vlogmas series, okay? And if I do answer your questions, I will do shout outs. All right, help me out here, you guys, and put your questions down below. All right, today I am doing Holiday Punch. You know what? I should be calling this my mom's punch. <laughs> Far back as I can remember, my mom made punch for the holidays. And I'm talking Christmas, New Year's, Easter. Okay, we had this punch. And y'all, it's really simple, but it's so delicious and just packs a punch. 7-Up, pineapple juice, sherbet, lime sherbet. All right, I'm going to give it a holiday twist by adding pomegranates to it. All right, and I'm going to show you how that happens. All right, y'all, let's start building a punch. All right, so I'm going to go ahead now and open up my pineapple juice. Now, what I use is just a little church key here, and I make a big hole on one end, and then I turn it and make it just a small hole on the other end. It makes it easier to pour out, and I'm going to put the whole thing in there. All right, now I'm going to add, I have about a two liter bottle of 7-Up, so I'm going to go ahead and add about three quarters of it. All right, the next thing I'm going to add is a whole container of lime sherbet. Now, I'm just using a two-inch ice cream scoop here. I'm just going to make my little ice cream balls here. Let them float in the punch. All right, y'all, so I have my punch made. Now, to make it festive, I'm using my pomegranate. Now, what I did was I created ice cubes. Okay, to make the ice cubes for my holiday punch, now I have poured some 7-Up into my ice cube trays about halfway, and then I kind of, I froze those. Then what I'm gonna do is add my pomegranate seeds. Now you wanna take one, this is from one whole pomegranate right here. So what we're gonna do is just take a spoonful and we just want to cover the 7-Up the ice there. Alright, now I'm going to use my 7-Up again and I'm just going to cover up the pomegranate seeds. Alright, so now I'm going to take some saran wrap and I'm going to cover each one of these just to keep the frost off of them when we put them back in the freezer. Tell you what it looks like. You can see in the cup here, I put it in there. So it kind of looks like that. Very festive, right? So I'm going to show you what it does to the punch. Look at that. Isn't that pretty, y'all? And it won't dilute your punch with any water or anything like that that comes off of like regular ice cubes. I'm going to take some of this with the sherbet. Just pour it into my cup. Oh. Uh, all right, there we go. I'm going to do a close-up on these for you. All right, y'all, what do y'all think about my holiday punch? I mean, my mom's punch. <laughs> Jazzed up with some pomegranate, right? All right, I'm going to go ahead and try this for y'all. Let's see. Everything I remember about my mom's punch. Every holiday, y'all. And I'm going to tell you, when you make this punch, when my family comes over, I'm always making double batches. 
it goes that quick, and especially with the kids, oh, they love it. Mm. Oh my goodness, it's so festive and so pretty with the pomegranate in there also. All right, y'all, thank you so much for coming to my show today. Remember, this was Vlogmas Day number 13 of 25. Make sure also that you put your questions down below that you want me to answer on my 25th Vlogmas Day. And give me a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below with the bell notification so that you are notified when my shows come out. All right, y'all, I will see you on my next show.